It is now 6.15 on this Wednesday night. It's hump day evening, and Matt, you said something a second ago that got all our attention. It's looking great on Thursday. <laughs> it's looking great on Thursday, for sure. Uh, you know, Russ, we get these very rare times this time of year where we have these bumps in temperatures. Right. And we have to soak it in as much as you can. You know, I always forget what last winter was like. When you get a 50 degree day, you open up the windows real quick, you air out the house, and yeah. then it goes back to the cold yeah, again. Tomorrow's a windows open kind of day. You go to the pool tomorrow too? You're gonna do Probably, that? yeah, right. we'll see. It depends on, <laughs> depends on if the ice thaws or not. But uh, it, it's certainly a nice day tomorrow, but it is a bump in the road. Things are really gonna go downhill as we get into next week. Pattern gonna turn pretty active around here. It's, we're due, right? And what a difference a year makes. Today, 47 degrees. Last year today, 9.5 inches of snow. Does anyone remember that? Boy, how quickly a year goes. We had over 20 inches of snow out in the snow belt uh, a year ago today. So what a difference. You get all sorts of things in December. So what does December have in store, at least uh, climatologically speaking? This is what the month does in terms of averages. Today's average high 45 degrees, low 32. By the end of the month, we're down to 37 for an average high, 25 for an average low. We do average a foot of snow in Cleveland here during the month of December. You obviously, that's the midpoint, right? We can get higher or lower based on how these storm systems uh, come out. And then 10 minutes of daylight, that's all the more we're going to lose as we go throughout the month. In fact, that sunset is actually going to start to get a little bit later as we get into the December 15th, 16th time frame. Sunrise doesn't get earlier until January. Uh, it's confusing. It's an earth wobble. That's what has to do with that. Rainfall chances tonight. We've got them over the next couple hours. Pretty decent rain coming down area wide right now. It'll become more scattered and eventually go away as we approach the 10, 11, even midnight hour. You can see the rain right now. This is a pretty good dose, moderate, even heavy at times coming down uh, near the Chardon area, just out towards the east between Middlefield and Chardon, sorry, Chardon dealing with some decent rain right now. Maslin, Sugar Creek about to get some heavier rain. You can see it down there. Areas of northern Holmes County coming down pretty good. Light to moderate. Medina gets a little bit heavier out towards the west. Oberlin, New London over towards Norwalk, seeing some decent downpours. This is a system that's moving through fairly quickly as these have over the last five or six days. This one bringing some rain. We've got snow off towards the north. No snow with this and no temperature drop either. This is actually on the leading edge of a much stronger system, which is no, located just to the north of oh, International Falls, Minnesota there. This one has some punch to it. We're going to be on the warm side of things. As I mentioned tomorrow, we've got some real mild air that's going to move here. In fact, it's going to come on some pretty gusty winds. You notice the wind gusts throughout the morning hours. It's going to be breezy tonight, but once we get on into your morning rush hour, we're talking 30, 40 mile per our gusts at times that will continue midday and afternoon tomorrow. The other thing the wind is going to do is blow in warmer temperatures. You can see how the rain ends. We become just cloudy overnight tonight. Temperatures don't go down tonight. They actually stay steady or rise. So a beautiful start to your day tomorrow. We ought to start on your commute to work, school, bus stop, whatever it is. Mid and upper 40s tomorrow morning. Not bad. National Design Radar by our forecast. Rain goes away. We're in the 40s tonight. Tomorrow, I do think we get some sun peaks out of it, too. I think we'll have intervals of sun. Clouds will move back in. Sun will come back out. We'll also have some shower chances. That system will be just off towards our north. We're on the southern fringe of it. So you see how these scattered showers are around the area. Otherwise, I think we're well into the 50s tomorrow afternoon. We will start to cool down tomorrow evening. That wind will shift to the west. That will blow in a moderate brand of cool tomorrow night as we fall back into the 30s. Then we stay kind of cool on Friday. Beyond that, boy, does it get interesting. I'm going to show you two models, the Euro and the GFS. We look at 12, 13 other ones. These are the two major models, though. This is what it's hand how it's handling your Sunday, Monday, Tuesday time frame. Rain comes in here Sunday. I agree with that. Rain changes the snow on Monday. As of right now, that looks to be pretty fine tuned in the forecast. But then that heads out. Here's where the differences lie. Next week, the Euro keeps us on the cold side, brings another decent accumulating snow in here midweek, and then yet another one potentially after that. How much snow is the Euro saying? Notice the heaviest mounts off towards the north, but we get a pretty good batch of snow here next week if that holds true. The GFS, this is the American model. That brings rain in here on Sunday. Well, we know that from the Euro, right? We bring snow in here on Monday, much colder and windy behind that. But the GFS has continued to be further north with the track of these lows, so that would keep it mainly rain the middle half of next week. And that would also lower our snowfall totals. You can see how, yeah, we still have some snow in the forecast with the bulk of that up in Canada. They're going to get nailed up there no matter what. What are we to think? Well, we'll give you this seven day in terms of what I'm thinking. But as of right now, 
I think this is kind of set in stone, the rain moving in and changing the snow. And then this is the big question mark right in here. Union you know, Home Mortgage seven day forecast 55 tomorrow. We'll do 41 with a little bit of rain snow left over on Friday. And then rust Saturday looks good. And then we deal with that system. Definitely going to turn active, windy and kind of snowy as we get into next week. You know, not that it matters, but I vote for that American model. I like it much better. <laughs> you like the rain better, huh? I do. All right. Thanks, Matt.